I think the conversation that we are about to have is a very important conversation that I think is important if you're just starting out in your fitness journey or if you've been working out and are struggling with consistency. Now, I've been out of the gym for about two weeks plus now because life happened. And I'm taking a look at my body in the mirror. I'm like, chair, we do not look the same. You see, the physique is not giving what it normally gives, which is okay. I want you to understand something about my journey and what fitness looks like for me in all these years that I have been training. It has looked this way, that I'm not in the gym every single week, every single month and every day of the year. That is not happening. Actually, I wouldn't even want for that to happen because I'm not trying to live in the gym. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I am in the gym for as long as I can be. There's some weeks that are great and really good. Like I'm able to get in work. I'm in there and I'm working my ass off. But there are also weeks when I'm actually just not feeling it. it or sometimes you just have so much happening that being in the gym is the last thing on your mind. Now, I need you to understand that there's a huge difference between being lazy because we know what laziness looks like because sometimes, girl, get your ass in the gym. <laughs> but there's also times where you need to understand that life happens, things happen. And sometimes life needs you to be elsewhere other than the gym. How I have been able to maintain the same physique all year round is that when I'm in the gym, those four days that I'm in the gym, I am working my ass off. I am sweating. I'm getting in work. I'm making every single rep count. Like this is the last time I'm going to be in this gym. Every single time for those four days. Some days don't look like that, but that's okay. But for the most part, that's what I'm aiming for. This allows me to be able to say when I'm not able to be in the gym or when I'm resting or when life has happened and I cannot make it. I don't feel as guilty as well as my gains are not as affected because when I do work, I put in work. But when life happens or I do need to rest, I'm going to get my rest and I will allow life to be what it is in that moment. This is important to remember because as you are in your journey and you're trying to get back on track, the quickest way to get back on track is not by beating yourself down about how long you've been out the gym or how long you've been inconsistent with your eating and trying to go from zero to 100. You've been out the gym for about two, three weeks or you set those January resolutions. Yeah, you remember those? Yeah, the vision board that has the fitness girl in there. Yeah, let's talk about that one because... <laughs> You set those resolutions and you probably haven't been in the gym since Feb. Okay, that's all right. And you're thinking, I need to get back on track. I need to get back on it. Or summer's coming and all of that kind of stuff. When you're trying to get back on track, it shouldn't be, I'm now trying to hit four days a week in the gym. I'm trying to do the hardest workout. I'm trying to do eat right from get go and have all these, fill up my whole fridge with vegetables and fruit and all that kind of stuff. That looks great on paper. But it doesn't look great in reality because that isn't reality. And that is the quickest way that you're going to fall off again or find yourself just hating the journey and starting and restarting and all that kind of stuff. What you need to do to restart, which is what I'm going to show you in this video, as we are going to attempt my um, program upper body workout using just dumbbells is that you need to first start off with that workout that you actually enjoy. So getting on a program or a plan, so having some sort of structure in how you're getting back on track. But also, it is important to remember, please don't spend too long in that phase of getting back on track, planning to get back on track. So you have your little diary. And you're writing all about how I'm going to get back on track. I'm going to go get groceries. I'm going to do this. I'm going to buy gym outfits. I'm going to do. Don't spend too long thinking about what you're going to do or planning what you're going to do and planning the perfect workout and planning the perfect plan and all of that. Go get a program because I believe that having that plan and having something already structured for you will eliminate some of the excuses that you could come up with in terms of like not knowing how to plan a workout. I don't know where to start. I don't know how to do the leg day and all of that. And then with your meals, start with what you have. Grab those ingredients that you already enjoy eating, those foods that you already enjoy and those foods that make you feel like, okay, I'm back on my healthy gains. I'm back into my healthy journey period and nothing can stop you right now. That stuff that has you feeling like that. Because if you are draining yourself and hating this process and you're making it even worse when you're getting back, you're getting back into, oh, it's so frustrating. I have to start working out. I have to start doing all of this. You're going to hate this entire journey and you're going to keep starting and restarting. And that's not what we're trying to achieve here. You want to do that that you enjoy as well as build from there, allowing with the days when you're not in the gym and where things happen and all of that kind of stuff. And this is how I get back on track. Now, if I've been out the gym for 
a minute. Um, I'm not trying to come back looking like my problems <laughs> or whatever kept me out of the gym. I'm trying to come back looking good and feeling good, by the way. Um, thank you to Yvette Sports for sponsoring this segment of the video. Yvette Sports is this outfit that I'm wearing now. So they provide gym wear for women. And when we talk affordable gym wear, as well as gym wear that feels good, because I like to feel like I'm wearing nothing, okay, <laughs> when I put on gym clothes. And honestly, that's because I'm sweating in that gym. I'm already struggling. Now, we're not going to add a little bit more struggle into that to looking like the struggle, um, as well as wearing clothes that feel like another workout. So I'm going to cop myself some good outfits and I'm going to look good while I die. <laughs> so I went on to the Yvette Sports website and I picked out a couple of items that I thought looked too good. And you're actually going to see me in this fit because this is the one that I wore to the workout. And I also picked out this blue set, which for me is very much big titty girl friendly. So when you get like the zips and I love that it has the zip on the front because I'm lazy. So I'm not trying to put it over my head because I'm going to mess up my makeup and all that kind of stuff. So I just throw it on literally like a jacket and I zip it up and this is what the back look like very comfortable you know that there are no spills happening here as well as when you get a gym fit like this you know that you can use it for things like your head workouts or very intense workouts because this is going to keep you all put together and the way that this felt on my skin like nothing which is what we're going for <laughs> and you are able to adjust the sports bra to work for you so if you're feeling like it's too tight if you want a little bit more room for those girlies to play around you can go ahead and adjust those and get yourself in a nice sports bra that has you feeling good and also still comfortable all throughout the workout if you guys have noticed i'm the kind of girly that i love matching sets like i love matching sets. you will hardly ever find me in like a blue and a pink and a green and a red because i love matching sets there's just something about them that just give luxury like it just gives look good and feel good i'm not saying nothing about the mixed match sometimes it does work but i'm just the kind of person that i just prefer matching sets as well as it takes out the guesswork in terms of like should i put this color should i do another color and i like to make it look like a one piece like this so i actually pull it down all the way down and i wear my fits like this or i pull it up um when things are getting heated in the gym but you can wear it however you want to and another thing that i think is important to mention that with this fit i get a couple of sweat stains um down there but honestly guys I don't mind sweat stains. Like I always tell you guys, I think sweat stains are great because that means, oh, that shows that you're putting in work. Like you're working out, of course you're going to sweat and of course it's going to show somewhere. So I don't mind sweat stains at all. But if you do, then I wouldn't recommend this particular set. It wasn't anything too bad, but yeah, there is a couple of stains here and there. And then I also topped that off with the little jacket. Fun fact, I wear gym clothes out the gym. I don't even know where all my other clothes are. I, ask me about a pair of jeans. I don't know where that is. I live in gym clothes. So I got this little set, which I'm probably going to use as a <laughs> as a top um, because I, I'm just built like that. Um, I'm probably going to use it as a top. And I thought it was the cutest thing ever. It looks so good. And it just makes you look all put together. You know, it just puts the outfit together. And I love when these come with thumb holes because it gives period she's who she thinks she is it's just something about them holes that just looks so good and so i wear my gym clothes out the house and out the gym and everywhere else because comfort and looking good like what more can you ask for and i absolutely love that it had this collar and it's not going all the way up my nose like one of the jackets that i have um it literally sits very comfortably on your neck area and it looks very cute like this just gives okay she's going out somewhere this just gives period she looks good you know what i'm saying just put together and all of that kind of stuff so i would definitely recommend copying this little jacket over here as well as with the set i then went on to try the blue set which i love because i love when sports bras have a little bit of detail going on on the front you know what i'm saying a little peekaboo yeah i love that i live for that and then the back was a nice crisscross and when you see a sports bra with all those straps you know that you're covered like you know that nothing is slipping out of here um very much big to go friendly and i love colors that just make you the star of that freaking gym like it just looks so good and this blue against my skin period like i said butterfield look good 
and very comfortable, secure. Security is everything, guys, when it comes to these gym clothes. Because, child, I'm not trying to have no rips in that gym. I'm not trying to make a statement <laughs> that kind of way, okay? So keep me secure. If you're interested in these pieces, you can find every single item that I've worn in this video linked down below. These guys ship internationally. So it don't matter where you are in the world, you can cop yourself some of these pieces. And I have a discount code for you guys, which I'm going to leave on the screen because I'm trying to save you some coins, baby. Okay, I got you like that. Thank you to Yvette Sports for sponsoring this video. Let's get into this workout. So a little story about the sneakers that I'm the shoes that I'm wearing right now. I wear these shoes for everything, leg day, upper body, everything, everything. Like I have wanted these shoes for such a long time, like back in like 2018. And I used to tell myself, oh my God, I wish I could get this shoe. I used to post it on my story all the time. Like those that were there know that I used to post this shoe all the time. Cause I'm like, I can't wait. I wish I could get these shoes. Now back then we didn't have the coin to kind of get these kind of shoes. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna wait my turn. And I did that, and finally, I managed to get them. I went into the, into the store for a different shoe, actually. I went in for the mid-cons, and then, actually, I was like, I couldn't get the size um, for the mid-cons. And I remembered, I have wanted this shoe since forever, which was the biggest sign for me. Like, you can finally get the shoe, and I got the shoe. And let me tell you something. I love these shoes, and I wear them for everything, outdoors, uh, to the club, to the... I wear them everywhere. I love them. I'm actually going to get... Um, I'm actually going to get them in a couple more colors because child, they are that good. I absolutely love these shoes. So comfortable on my toes and I'm a wide feet kind of girly. Yeah, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> so I, I struggle to find shoes that feel comfortable. These do everything for me. I did link them in my Instagram story for those that were interested in them. But I will also leave a link down below in the description box. I'm hoping to add 5 kgs on the last set or the last two. If I don't get to add the 5 kgs, I'm going to go on to a fader. Okay. Let's go. I was on they said I won't be nothing. Now they always say congratulations. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
which is why when I say to you guys, there is the way that you're going to be able to get push-ups and these kind of exercises, your upper body exercises, as well as the lower body, is when you structure them and you put your most challenging exercises at the very beginning because this is going to help you to perform them when your strength is still good and not trying to leave them to the very end when you're really tired and you're thinking to yourself i'm not trying to do this i can barely even get in one push-up the reason why you cannot get in two push-ups is because you're doing those push-ups at the very end when you're tired you're already done out you're ready your mind is also tired from this entire workout and you're ready to get home so there's little to no motivation to even perform those exercises so if you struggle with exercises whether whether it is your push-ups your um pull-ups and things of that sort or your chest press try to have those at the beginning of your workout i promise you it's a game changer and another thing which i think is important to then mention is that you need to be getting in your full rest between your exercises i picked one of my favorite exercises at this moment by the way upper body isn't usually my favorite uh, but I just thought today I'm feeling more upper body and like I said I only train or I only wear leggings when I'm training upper body or I'm on my period or I'm outdoors somewhere and I'm probably running errands that's the only time I wear leggings because I, I live for shorts but yeah so you want to start with your most favorite if you do have a favorite because I know I know I got a couple of my girls that are like favorite what favorite when it comes to working out baby I know <laughs> Uh, you should have one that you at least like, okay? So you want to go for that one. You want to start off with that one because you're trying to get back on track. We're trying to make this stick. So don't go for the hardest um, because you hate leg day and you're like, okay, leg day is going to get me all snatched, but I know I hate it. And you know, it's going to make you hate uh, or fall off again. So you want to go for the workout that you actually enjoy, although it's still challenging and it's still difficult, as well as your reps and sets should be um, structured in a way that it allows for you to move or to slowly progress into back, back into working out so you're not trying to go for four sets full four sets and things like that you want to keep it at three should you be able to push it to four then go off with the four but for most of these exercises although structured as for four sets in the program i took it to three sets and then called it and moved on to the next exercise <laughs> that was the nod of okay i think i got this i think i can up the weight a little bit more so that's what i did i said let's hit the pr all right on the first day back now this isn't realistic i'm not saying aim for prs on your first day back into working out okay but i just felt uh, some kind of energy from these fits and feeling good about myself and i said let's push it a little bit and i definitely hit a pr as you can see i was struggling um and that left arm baby it'll be slacking but she'd be coming through when she needs to come through and i was really chuffed with myself i'm really excited because i didn't think i could ever hit a pr with chest press um for the last three years of training i was not doing no chest isolating exercises okay <laughs> so we then went into the next exercise which is the bicep curl and I like to use, so this entire workout is dumbbell focused. So it's dumbbell only, which is the four week program, which is focused on dumbbells, resistance band, as well as body weight exercises. So you only use dumbbells. So it's the kind of workout that you can literally go into a little corner in the gym and get the full workout done without having to move anywhere else. Or you can do it at home and you're good to go. And when it comes to doing your upper body exercises, I think it's important to remember that you shouldn't feel the need to go to up the weight to a ridiculous amount of weight like you would do for your lower body because your upper body strength is not the same as your lower body strength and i was also taking a look at this program at this point and i'm like cha who put this program together because we're struggling we're suffering like i'm not okay 
and my arms were jelly at this point. But the point that I'm trying to bring you guys to is that when it comes to upper body, you will still be able to build those good gains by keeping the weight low. What is important is structuring or changing the amount of reps that you're doing and sets. So doing progressive overload with your exercises, progressive overload is how we build muscle. And this is what is going to allow us to be able to continuously build with each week. You don't have to always up the weight or increase the weight to be able to get a good workout in, to be able to see results from your workouts. There are different ways of including or bringing in progressive overload into your workouts, which can be changing the number of reps that you're doing, changing the number of sets, including holds in your exercises, including pauses and things like that. Which is why when I say if you're training at home and you don't have weights or you maybe have one or two sets, you can use that way of uh, putting in holds and pauses into your workouts to make it a little bit more intense. And so to finish, we then went into our ab exercises just to isolate the ab, um, the core. And then we also finished off with a plan. I never gotta say shit more. And I know your case is a little bit mm, high maintenance. Mm, everybody else basic. You live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice. Poetic justice. If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these songs dedicated to you. So we're at home now and I'd be so hungry after my workouts. Like I'd be starving. Like I could eat someone, a human being at this point. Not really though. Not really. Please. Um, yeah. So you guys know post-workout means high protein. So we want to repair those muscles that we just tore in the gym. So we want to go for something that is high in protein, which is why I try to include things like cottage cheese. I try to have chicken breast. I try to have eggs and things like that after my workouts. But if I had an egg before, I'm not trying to have an egg after. So I'm going to go for that chicken breast. And so I try to find meals that are very easy to make, but are still delicious. Now you will see a little bit later when I had my niece try um, out what I made and she didn't have the best reaction to my food but that's because she's a hater but y'all know my food y'all know how i do it always slaps okay so definitely do give this a try i seasoned my chicken with paprika garlic powder onion powder as well as black pepper and i also sliced the chicken in half because this allows for it to cook much quicker. So you want to slice it in half and then um, you're going to season it. And then I prepared my egg mixture, which I also seasoned with the exact same spices that I used for the chicken. And then I also have my breadcrumbs, which I also seasoned because around this house, around here, we season our food really good, okay? And this is what's going to allow your food to taste good. Like, so it's not tasting really bland and just having chicken breast that tastes like chicken breast. No. It's supposed to be juicy, okay? <laughs> We're trying to eat some good food. So I dip that into the breadcrumbs. And if you don't have breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs, you can use crushed cornflakes. Sorry, I dipped it into the egg first and then I dipped it into the breadcrumbs. And then I also toasted, or oh, lightly grilled, whatever you want to call it, uh, my rolls. And then I then put everything together. <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> okay, it's okay. Ne? It's a, it's alright. So now we're gonna add.
Mummy hamburger is so yummy. <laughs> Okay, show them the hamburgers. Mm. Okay, we're going to do a taste test. And Inky is going to taste, okay? <sighs> okay, okay, okay. I'm going to taste now and you can... Take a bite. Uh, <laughs> it's too spicy. Too spicy? Just take a bite like this. Take a bite, baby. I'm just going to take a bite, Ooh, just to show you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please look down below in the description box for... Um, Subscribe to the channel. Yeah. <laughs> yes, please subscribe to my channel and I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Please look down below for the giveaway winner for ooh, um, the giveaway winner for the 100k that I announced last week. Mommy, you need to subscribe to the channel. You can do a hamburger. You can mix, mix, mix. Make a match. Thank you. <laughs> yes, make the hamburgers. I promise you're going to love them. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please don't forget to check out um, Yvette Sports for all these sets. The jacket that I'm wearing right now is also from Yvette Sports. <laughs>